Hey guys, it's Little Woman 21 here, and now you can see me properly. This week on Life and Whatnot, which this is Life and Whatnot, <laughs> um, we our fridge broke down, as you already knew, and they thought that they fixed it, the maintenance guys, but they didn't. And so we got a mini fridge and then a new fridge, you know, so that way we have a backup plan. <laughs> and so you'll see that right about now. Okay, so we're getting a new fridge. <laughs> and this is weird because like, I don't want these guys to stare at us, but yeah. So. Okay, bringing the fridge in. Finally getting that fixed so no more sad bacon moments or cookie dough disasters. So yeah, there's Ben. Hi. They're so, these people are so nice that they're even putting our stuff, they took our stuff out of the fridge, they swept, they swept around the fridge, and now they're putting our stuff back into the fridge. So yeah, these people are awesome. Last night, our fridge broke, there's our new fridge, but we had to buy um, a mini fridge in order to not have any more sad moments with bacon or cookie dough. So let's go take a look. It's in our room and no, you may not see our room because it is messy and it will always be messy while we live in this tiny ass apartment. So yeah, this is our fridge, our mini fridge. Not so many because it's like half my size. Yes, I'm small. Black and Decker. And it looks so damn good inside. I mean, like, look how awesome that looks. And look at all the bacon. It looks all nice and settled in there. Yeah, so anyway, um, on a second note, I was going to talk about family appreciation. Now, I know probably a lot of you out there have you know, problems even being around your family for like more than five seconds. And I get that. You know, family can get on your nerves every five seconds. But you have to remember the good times in life. Um, I was recently asked to uh, write something to put in my grandpa's urn. He passed away last July or June around there and it's still you know kind of tough but you have to press on but yeah so I wanted to read you the poem that I wrote for him but the main thing for uh, this video is um, you really don't know what you have until it's gone that quote famous quote not a lot of people take it to heart at all they always go oh well I know what I have you never know how you're going to take bad news like that when it happens. But just remember, I mean, you don't have to like being around your family, but give respect where respect is due. Like, don't push your problems onto other people that, like, you know, care about you. Don't push them away. Cherish them. Cherish them in every way possible. Make them proud of who you are. And you know what? There's a lot of you out there that just by being yourself, like, people are proud of you. So, yeah, um, that's pretty much it. And so let me just read the poem. Okay. In loving memory, loyal, strong, brilliant, hardworking, never was there ever any doubt Every step of the way, every stand there was to take, always you were there. Loving, caring, fair, kind. Did what was to be done, every corner to be turned, every tear to be shed, always you were there. Father, brother, husband, friend, we will miss you dearly. Every memory cherished, every heart you have touched, always you will stay. I love you, Grandpa. In loving memory of James Ronald Nader, um, June 11th, 1931 to July 24th, 2012. Thanks for listening, guys. See you next time, next week.